What's going on you guys, TBR here back yet again with another video and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful week. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Street Fighter Duel. Now, of course, this is the newest mobile game from Capcom and Tencent Games that was released yesterday globally on Android and iOS devices. And I have been spending a ton and I do mean a ton of time on this game in the past 24 hours, as well as a decent amount of money, but we won't talk about that in today's video. Never mind, we'll talk about it. We have to talk about it, but we will be talking all things Street Fighter Duel in today's video, as I have, as I mentioned, had plenty of time to play around with this game, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of this game, and I'm going to be playing this game quite a bit. In fact, I barely opened any other mobile game yesterday. That was about how much I enjoyed this. So we're just gonna hop right into it. But before we go ahead and get into all of that more, make sure if you guys haven't already done so, you smash that like button and subscribe. And let's just go ahead and get into today's video. Now, for those of you who are normally here on the channel for my other content, do be aware, I know, I know, you can't see my face. I will get it fixed, I'll get it taken care of. I am going to have to re-download an emulator in order to be able to do that. So I'm gonna get all that taken care of, but I was too busy playing the game yesterday, guys, get off me. <laughs> so the next time you guys see me doing a Street Fighter Duel video, you'll be able to see my ugly mug. But in today's video, we're just gonna have to make do. So Street Fighter Duel, as you guys are probably aware, is an idle RPG, which love them or hate them, there are quite a few of them on the market. Market. And this one does stand out quite a bit. Not only is it going to, of course, feature Street Fighter and be a Capcom licensed game from Tencent Games, as we mentioned, but there's also going to be a lot of charm and a lot of very pretty graphics in certain areas of this game as far as idle RPGs go. Of course, when it comes to these games, typically speaking, your characters are going to be kind of your chibi style and they aren't necessarily going to be the most, you know, beautiful looking thing in the world as far as character models are concerned but at the same time i mean look at that look at poison here she's adorable right and overall we'll get into some gameplay but first i just want to kind of give you guys a thousand yard view of the game i might end up doing some sort of guide or something like that this week for beginners but if you guys want specific guides on this game let me know in the comment section down below what type of guides you would like and i can go ahead and start working on those and kind of get a list together but let's just go ahead and start off with the basics here now of course when it comes to gameplay in this game which is of course going to be the most important thing you have a lot of different options and when you open up the game you're going to pretty much be overwhelmed with options i would say option paralysis is a pretty good way of saying this when you ever whenever you open the game for the first time but if we go ahead and take a look here it isn't too bad so of course being an idle rpg you are going to be gaining loot over time so as you guys can see here i've got a bunch of different currencies all these different currencies are going to be used for different things but for the most part for the majority of them they're all going to basically just be used for building characters which building characters is really the name of the game in this game right so you go ahead and claim your rewards you get more and more over time etc etc you can even go ahead and free speed up once a day otherwise it'll cost you 50 of these little guys right here now these gems are going to be what you use in order to summon which we will talk about summons and even do some summons in today's video as well and we'll kind of get into that briefly but again we're only going to kind of do a brief overview of all this stuff because there's just so much of it so when it comes to different gameplay elements in this game there's a ton of different stuff you can do like i said so you have global operations which basically you'll have all these different little maps that you can go into and when you go in here you're going to be able to have different themes to each stage and you're going to have a little bit of a different gameplay slant to each one of these which is actually kind of fun this one here had some puzzles it also required you to be in a little car with Ken driving around on ice which uh, brought back some uh, bad memories for me living in uh, in the state that I live in during the winter but you know we won't talk about that other things in here though you do have Shadow Loose City which I've already completed but basically it's just kind of your normal everyday tower style tiered dungeon where you go through you play the different tiers you play up through it and then you get all the corresponding rewards until you get to the end and then there's that so you have that 
You also have the Supreme Fist Tower. Now this guy here I've played admittedly the least, uh, not because it was anything too super challenging, but really just because I was busy playing other things, mainly story mode, but that is there as well. And then you have the bounties. So the bounties here, as you guys can see, you're going to be able to send your characters on missions. And when they're on these missions, they're going to pick up different items for you over time. So this is something, again, guys, if you've played a gotcha game, these gotcha games, they basically all kind of copy off of each other on the type of gameplay elements and gameplay loops that you're going to see. So none of this stuff should be too surprising or too dissimilar from games you might have played in the past. So you go in here, you go ahead and deploy your characters for whatever items you want, and you go ahead and you just wait for them to come back. And when they come back, they'll come back with the items that you wanted them to come back with, and you'll get more loot, right? So it's a pretty basic loop there, but those are some of the different game modes, just briefly there, that you'll be able to play outside of the story mode. Now, as far as story mode is concerned, as you guys can see, we'll go back to this screen. This is going to be your story mode. So story mode is pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Um, it is basic, but at the same time, it is a lot of fun. And going through here, each time you clear a chapter, you actually pick up a multi for the arcade. Now, the arcade is going to be where you're going to draw your characters, and these coins are going to be where you're going to be able to do that. So pretty interesting that you do get so many multis right off the bat. We'll have to wait and see if this game is going to be generous enough over time to continue to allow you to do that. But from what I have heard, and I know that there are going to be people out there that are going to doom and gloom anytime a new game comes out. I mean, we've experienced this with every game that's ever hit the market. This game in particular is no different. And in fact, it's probably going to get it a little bit worse because it is a very popular game and it is a Street Fighter game. But at the same time, you know, I do feel like from what I've heard, it isn't going to be anything that is going to be completely dissimilar from what we've seen from other games in the past as far as that's concerned. So I don't think it's going to be too bad insofar as getting the gems or getting the different tokens that you'll need to summon. Of course, it is always going to push you to spend some money because of course it is. But at the same time, it is what it is. They're going to always try to make their money, especially when you're talking about 10 cent games and Capcom, right? So let's just go ahead and get into some gameplay, right? I want to go ahead and do that because I want to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what it looks like. So this is going to be my team right here. As you guys can see, I've been spending a lot of time working on my characters. I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty details of what's involved here, but you guys are going to have plenty of different options as far as being able to use different things, build different things, have different characters. There's a ton of characters on the roster. And in fact, if you take a look at my roster before I get into the gameplay, just so that way you kind of get an idea, this is who I've got right now. I've got quite a few characters here and really there's going to be a lot that's involved with building characters. So I don't want to get too deep into the weeds there, but if we go ahead and use, we'll go ahead and use my poison as an example here, you can promote your characters to build them up and level them up. You'll have different currencies for that. You are going Going to be able to get them to different tiers which uses and requires duplicates so that is going to be a system that is a little bit more complicated to explain than I would like to get into in today's video because sometimes it takes a duplicate of the exact same character, sometimes you just need the same grade character, etc. So I'll make a dedicated video to that, but you can also go ahead and upgrade gear. There's plenty of gear in the game. And then of course you can equip it to the characters. They're going to have skills as well. They're going to have different effects you can unlock more effects on your different skills over time for building up your character to specific levels and etc. So you've got all sorts of things here that are pretty basic when it comes to any type of RPG game. You're of course going to be able to pick up a bunch of free gems just for building up characters. You'll be able to do that through things like the bio, etc. So there's a lot of different ways to collect gems in this game, not just by playing through story and some of those different gameplay modes that I've just shown you, but there is plenty of different options there. Now, when it comes to building up characters to different grades and leveling them up, you do have the ability, like I mentioned, to use dupes. So as you guys see here, we'll use Sakura as an example. I can go ahead and use Sakura here and a couple more of her, and it'll make her a B plus character. And then if I were to go ahead and take a look at that Sakura again here, if we go ahead and find her, then I would have to have more 
of these characters of the same grade in order to build her up to the next level, etc. So that is what you're seeing there. Just again, guys, real brief look at what you're looking at and getting into when you download this game, but that is what you got there. So I, like I said, want to get into some gameplay real quick. We'll just take a look here. Not, I'm going to warn you guys right now. I have to put this here again. Come on. All right. So I'm going to warn you guys right now. My bison, who, yes, is a whale character, is absolutely just going to floor everything. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this character has hacks. I don't even know what to say about that character at this point. I know I didn't go into any of the character's different abilities or anything, but basically Bison will res himself. I think it's with 40% health when he hits a fatal, when he gets hit fatally, if you have another character still alive on your team. So yeah, it gets kind of ridiculous, especially when uh, I have Elena back there just healing everybody all the time. So yeah, pretty basic. <laughs> when it comes to my strategy, but it works. So yeah, the gameplay isn't anything too crazy. You can go down here. I bought it on auto most of the time because again, it is an idle game, but you do have your different special moves that you'll be able to fire off. I'll kind of break that down in this next fight so you guys see what you're looking at here. But down here, you'll see this bar that's moving up, the little blue bar beneath my character's icons. Once it hits max, I've got my Poison selected to use her finisher above everybody else, so she used hers, and that's what you got there. If you didn't have it on auto, then you could go ahead and just control all that manually, but who has time for that, right? Again, I don't have a problem with these idle games, and they do not bother me in the least, because I'm not the type of person that wants to have to live on or off my cell phone the majority of the time. But with that said, that's pretty much a good look at the gameplay for the most part. There are going to be time limited bosses and things like that that will pop up as well, where you'll just fight one giant static enemy, which is pretty fun as well. But really, the gameplay is pretty similar as you go through between each and every one of these different game modes. It's just kind of mixing things up or how you get there to that fight might be a little bit different, but with the whole gameplay loop in the fights, it tends to be very similar. So if that's something that you don't enjoy, then you may not enjoy the game, but at the same time, like I said, I do greatly enjoy it. So we do also have plenty of daily weekly rewards here. So there's plenty of different things right now that you can get, especially considering this game just came out. So they are definitely going to try and shower you with stuff. So there's going to be plenty of items that you can use in this game. So as you guys can see here, this one here is going to give me a bunch of cash, two hours worth of cash. Look at all that cash. We got plenty of it. So there's all kinds of stuff in this game you'll be able to acquire as you play through these different game modes. These guys here are going to be fragments. Again, if you've played an idle RPG, you know how these work. But basically these fragments, I exchange them. I'll get a random character. So I got a Ken, cool stuff, but that's what you got there. But when it comes to anything else in here, what have we not taken a look at briefly here? We do have guilds. Guilds are part of the game. I just joined a random guild in case anybody is wondering and wants to be a part of my guild. I don't have a specific guild made yet. I might end up doing that here. I'm on server 14. If you guys want to try and come and find me and add me, go right ahead. But if we take a look here, there's plenty of stuff you can do. You can do guild donation, which of course means you can just donate to your guild. That is something that you're allowed to do there. You can go in here and you can do the shadow lands. Now the shadow lands are basically going to be like a boss battle for the guild i can go ahead and show you guys how this works as well just so that way you kind of get an idea now of course these guys here are something completely different as well i actually just got the sakura one this morning that's why i have to keep adding it here because i just got it but Basically, you'll have these different EX skills in here as well that you can unlock throughout the game as you go through. And there's a different tab for that that we won't necessarily need to get into today. Again, because I just kind of want to give you guys a brief overview on the main stuff here. But as you guys can see, this is going to be kind of the guild challenge. This is just the first tier. So this is kind of like the novice one for the most part, lack of a better term. But going in here, you're just fighting wave after wave until you get to the end. And then at the end of it, you end up getting some prizes. So there is guilds and the guilds are pretty fun so far. Uh, there isn't a ton of stuff in them yet, but I'm sure that that'll change over time. This game has been out for a little while now outside of global. So that's probably why there's so much other stuff in it right now, right off the bat. And again, that option paralysis, I could totally understand for somebody just downloading the game for the first time. But I do think that it's a very accessible game. Also, I think that this is one of those games where, again, if you've played idle RPGs, you should feel right at home with it. And I don't feel like it should be anything that should feel too uncomfortable for you. 
So there you go, we get our rewards, we cleared that, so that's taken care of. We are not yet able to play this one, so we can't do that, but that's kind of a, just a brief look at your guild there, you guys. That's what you're looking at as far as that's concerned. Other things here, you do have a roulette that you can play each day, which is kind of fun. You'll have different little things up here that you'll be able to do, like this little Skyfall gift is really cool. Basically, you just get a random gift after a certain amount of time or a certain designated time throughout the day. And that yesterday for me was 300 gems, which was really cool. Right now, if you guys are wondering, I'm saving all my gems for Akuma when he drops. He is not in the game yet, so I'm just waiting patiently for that character to drop, and then I'm going to just go hog wild on summoning. Right now, I'm just focusing on using tokens in order to be able to pick up the characters, which the characters picking them up is kind of the biggest thing because they are really where you get locked out of content because really the only time that I get locked out of content my characters don't even necessarily get KO'd so much. It's when I just run out of time, I can't take down whatever it is I'm trying to fight. And then you have to continue to build up your characters to push past it. So that's kind of what happens there as far as time gating you, but it isn't anything too bad. Now, of course, there is PvP. What, what would be a Street Fighter game without PvP, right? So we can go ahead and take a look at that real quick. I can just find somebody to fight against here. Let's fight against a random person. Um, oh, I got to put soccer in there. That's going to be a theme of this video. Good Lord. All right. So we'll just jump in here. Just pick a random person. And again, when it comes to the gameplay loop, it's pretty similar ish throughout every single type of game mode. It just comes down to the enemy types and kind of the way that they function. That's different. But as you guys can see there, that's going to be a PVP match. And there really wasn't a whole lot to look at in that mode because honestly, just kind of wiped the floor with that guy. Let's try to find somebody a little bit stronger. We'll fight this person. See if it's it's uh, any more entertaining, but overall, you guys, I'm enjoying the heck out of the game. This is a game that I feel like has a ton of potential. I feel like this is a game that over time, if they definitely give it the right love and support and listen to the fan base on certain things and they work on things that people might have little issues with here and there and work out some kinks, I feel like this game has a lot of legs. It isn't necessarily going to be anything groundbreaking or game breaking, no pun intended. It isn't trying to reinvent any wheels, but it is a really fun little idle RPG and as you can see, I think that these little character models are really charming. I think it's a lot of fun to be able to sit there and collect them. There's different costumes and things that you can get as well that we didn't even talk about. There's so much you could talk about with this game that I'm not going to be able to get into in today's video. We can do that in other videos, but I do really, really, really like this game. I love this game. I think it's a lot of fun. Again, I had played this game way back. I had played the non-global version briefly, but then just fell out of it because I don't necessarily enjoy playing games when I can't understand what I'm looking at. Um, and can't read what I'm looking at rather. So, you know, that was that, but I do really enjoy this game now that it's on global. So we're just gonna do some summons real quick, you guys. There's plenty of characters we still don't have. Now, personally for me, the biggest thing that I really want right now is I want more bison. Oh, that's like, you guys know me if you've seen any of my KOF content. Bison, Akuma, those are like my characters, and that's really where I live at the end of the day. So I really, really want them. So we're just going to go ahead and just keep on summoning here. And I'm just going to use my tokens. I'm not going to use my gems. I'm saving those again for when Akuma drops. But before we jump in here, I do want to talk about the different types of summons. So you have three different types of summons right now. These guys here are going to use your little faction coins. So those are going to be the little blue coins you see down there. These guys are going to use the purple coins. And then these guys down here are actually going to use a different currency which is going to be your friendship currency. So that's pretty much what you got there. There's different pools for each one. And what's kind of cool about this one here is you can actually switch which faction you want to be featured. Um, so usually I live on this one because I use most of the characters here. Like I use Elena and I use Poison and who else do I use in here? Uh, I sometimes use Ryu and I haven't used Evil Ryu or Mad Ryu yet. Um, I use Elena, Poison, Ryu, so, and probably at some point in the future, Mad Ryu. So I usually live here, but you can actually pick a different one if there's a certain character that you're really interested in. Now, like, not every character is going to be in the pool for this particular summon, but still very nice. And that's how I maxed out some of the characters by doing that. Um, other things here is on this one, this one actually unlocks more characters over time, like better characters over time, the more you pull on it. So basically before I had pulled as much as I have, um, I did not have the ability to get a bison. I did not have the ability to get a Yuri. 
I did not have the ability to get some of these characters. Um, so now I do because I have pulled enough. And you do have a wish list down here that's basically going to be where you can choose which character you want the most and it'll prioritize them in your pulls. Um, however, not every character is involved here. You'll see that like Bison's not in here or else I'd have them on there, etc. So some of the rarer, more chase characters are not featured here, but that's kind of the big drawback to that. Now, other things here though, you do get prizes. For pulling you'll see here you will get a bunch of stuff um just for doing x amount of multis like we'll end up getting this guy right here which is going to be a heap of cash which you can always use more cash in this game so overall the summoning is pretty basic um it's not anything too crazy and overall I've, I've been doing pretty good as far as getting characters and you see here that it also guarantees you an a or a b fighter and on certain draws and that does change i believe based on how many multis or what multi you're at so you know you do have a little different perks as well so yeah they definitely incentivize you to summon but it is a gotcha game so why wouldn't they but anyway you guys speaking of summoning we're just gonna go ahead and hop in here i have two multis we'll just see if we get anything good and then we'll get out of here because again i just wanted to kind of give you guys a first impressions video just kind of a brief idea of how i'm feeling about the game because i'm really really enjoying it uh so we did get a bunch of characters here now some of these characters like these ones here are really just fodder these are ones that will autom i've got it set to automatically sell for me and then you end up getting some of those purple items that you need in order to build up your characters and that's kind of how that works you also get something else i forget what it is off the top of my head but you know I do have it set to auto delete them so it is what it is but the main characters like the actual cast characters that you would use obviously those stay in your inbox until your inbox is full or your recruit list is full or whatever you want to call it and then you go from there so we got one more draw here we'll go ahead and do that we are going to be getting something decent here so we'll see you can tell by that little animation with the black flames who are we gonna get uh okay cool we got a yang um, I don't know if I had Yang. I might not have, but hey, we have Yang now. Awesome. So there is that. Now here you can share. First share of the day gets you 50 gems. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm making a video, but you guys know how it goes. But anyway, that is what we get there. Get my items for doing those multis that were up there. And you just kind of go from there, guys. And that's kind of how it all works. So that is kind of the thousand yard view of this game, guys. Again, I have been greatly enjoying this and I'm going to be doing more content on it. You guys just let me know what it is you would like to see. I know that there's a lot of you that are playing this game right now that really have been enjoying it so if you would like come in let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it what you want to see from the channel and what you would like me to do here with this game but overall i am really really enjoying it so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see in the future how you're enjoying street fighter duel like share and subscribe on your way out and until the next one y'all you take care peace Continue.